Hey everybody, welcome to another video. I'm Mike B and today we're going to be opening up a crate of 1440 rounds of 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So this is going to be packed. It's new production ammunition. It's commercial. I think Barnall makes it. Um, here's the top of the crate. You can see the uh, head stamp too. So it's just M43, which is standard 76239 full metal jacket. And it's got Russian or Cyrillic basically on it. And uh, yeah, I've had this for a while and um, I've been shooting a lot of 76239 lately. So I need to open up a new can of ammo because I'm saving my Yugoslavian M67 ammo for um, a rainy day, I will, we'll just say. So what you're going to need is if you've never opened up a crate like this, like, I mean, this is a pretty standard Soviet slash Russian crate of ammunition. I think they still pack their ammo this way. It's a pretty cool way you can, you know, stack them really high and stuff. And they keep for a long time. These are brand new boxes, it looks like. So, you know, all the old crates of 76254 that people have, um, they're going to be a little bit more worn, but I digress. Anyway, so what you're going to need is a pair of tin snips. Um, you can do this with like a really sharp knife, but you're going you're gonna to probably fuck the blade up a little bit on this part. And you're going to need a little bit of a screwdriver, right? And then possibly another tool that might actually be in here, but if it isn't, I'll, I have one and I'll show you what that is. So first, we're just going to take the tin snips and we're going to cut the band off of the crate that holds it shut. And then watch yourself because this thing is super sharp and it's really easy to cut your finger open or your wrist or whatever. It's very sharp. Uh, any kind of banding on this is going to be terrible. I'm just gonna throw that in the garbage. We don't really need that. So now you'll notice that this thing has to move, but it's screwed down, so you're gonna need the screwdriver for this part. So we just loosen this up. You don't wanna take the screw out completely, but you wanna get it to where it's not gonna be catching on the uh, piece of whatever this is, metal. So you move it to right there, and we're gonna do the reveal. Okay, so this does, oh, it does have the tool, excellent. So, voila. There we are. So we got a two cans, 700 rounds each of mil-spec um, lacquered 762 by 39. I don't know what this says. Maybe I can, uh, I don't know. I don't have uh, Translate available on my phone that I'm using to film this right now. So, all right, this is packed exactly like every Soviet and Russian ammunition style is packed. Two, or two cans of however many rounds of whatever caliber. You got your can opener here, and then you've got this string that allows you to pull up on one of the cans. So you don't have to break your fingernails trying to get it out. And you pull up on there, and this is the can we're going to be opening. So, which what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this guy sitting in here. We're going to take out the can opener. This is a pretty important piece of uh, equipment to have, and these are really cool to have on hand. I think there's a stack of them somewhere, but um, yeah. So we'll go ahead and just close this crate back up. And uh, I'm kind of going to play with them. They're a little finicky. There we go. I'm going to move that back over. I'm just going to tighten it down just a little bit, so it actually requires some effort to open up. We're just going to set this to the side. All right, now this is the part that if you've never done this or seen this, it takes a while, especially with this tool. I might make some videos in the future on other methods that are a little bit more quicklier. Um, I love saying that. It's so fun. Yeah, I know it's more quickly. Um, but we're going to use the tool that comes with these ammunition crates uh, in this video. So it's going to take a little while, but it's worth it. Now, this is going to be the best part, the most satisfying part of the entire operation is the hiss. These are hermetically sealed. Um, so they actually do store for a long time. I've seen ammo that's stored in these span cans for, you know, since the 60s. And it looks like it was made yesterday because it's stored so well. This is my favorite kind of uh, storage method for long-term storage of ammunition. So here we go. Hopefully this, the camera picks this up. Oh, no hiss. I guess it's not sealed. Oh, they fucked me. I'm just kidding. So yeah, you just take this tool. If you can see what I'm doing, if you can't, I've got this part wrapped under the rim, and then I'm using the other part not to really cut, but to push down the, um, the cover on here. So you just do this. If you've ever opened up a can old school, like with a P51 or P38 can opener, same concept, different angle, different tool. So... Um, yeah, you just kind of, you can almost just do what I'm doing right here. The, the part that sucks on this is the corners. It always is just kind of difficult. Yeah, like it just fell out right there. I'm going to get this pre-done. So we can just end on that corner. I mean, it really doesn't take that long. There are easier and better ways to do it. Some people use power tools. I choose not to because, I mean, how many of these are you really opening? I mean, 
Maybe if you're getting punished out at the range on a Eastern Bloc country that uses these kind of cans and you had to open like a thousand of these in a day for, you know, all the range ammo, that would suck. But one can once in a while is not too bad. All right. Yeah, see what I mean? The corners, it always slips off. I've never had a can that's actually easy on. But that being said, it's not that terrible. Come on, you bitch. All right. And I'm not speeding this up, so you can do it this fast, the straight parts. Uh, yeah, this is a pain in the ass on the corner. Also, if you try to do this and you're not going this fast, don't worry. It took me like 10 years of opening these fucking things to actually become somewhat proficient at it. And this is not even what I would call proficient. This is okay as far as speed is concerned. So. Shit. Yeah, it's a lot easier if you don't just pop random holes in it. And just get it all. There we go. Got the rhythm back. Whew. My weak little hands are getting tired. <sighs> Skipping around. Yeah, what happens is the paint starts to chip off of this part. <clears throat> part. Got a nice voice crack there. Um, and it'll start catching instead of just gliding on the rim. So that's what's happening right here. For those of you that have opened these cans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're sitting there going, fuck yeah. That's exactly what happens. What's going on? So, but for those of you that haven't ever seen one of these open, which is unlikely if you're watching my channel, but hey, in the event, I'm trying to be an edu edumacator. Um, so at this point, you can flip this up and over. I don't like to have that shit laying around because it's, it's really easy to slice open any part of your body or a, if you have animals um, and they rub up against it, it's really easy for them to get cut and then you get stuck with like a $300 vet bill and and it's just a, just a clusterfuck. But um, anyway, I just figured I'd give you some commentary while I'm actually opening this up. I'm actually curious to see this ammo too. I actually have not seen this ammo yet. It's supposed to just look like regular, kind of like the wolf shit or the other barn all stuff but apparently sg ammo had this specially made for them limited time and offer some some shit like that but all right so at this point you just pry this up you're probably gonna have some spots that are sticky which i do and they just break right off so there you go and these make uh cool little souvenirs especially the actual old ones that have the the caliber and everything like stamped in um ink i hear like 762 whatever and it's all in uh, cyrillic and the lot number and all that stuff this is in English because it's made to be sold in the American commercial market. So you're not going to have that. But what I did is I had um, I had a bunch of these on display. You can just kind of pop holes in them. and Or you just tape them or use fun tack or whatever. And they're kind of cool displays. This is going in the garbage because it's essentially useless at this point. So it's not really a collectible thing. Burn that later. So this is what we're left with. Or what the result is. Got all these little packets. And you got the string again, which is a really smart thing. So let's take a look at the ammo. We got this far. Perfect. Look at that. It's brand new. Brand spanking new. Cool. Well, now I've got this open. I can do some uh, range videos with this on a uh, new little toy. But uh, before we do that, I had to open up these uh, this can and have some of these rounds so I can... Fill up some magazines and we can go out and have fun. Anyway, cool. So let's say there's 20, nope, pack pretty standard, 20 per little bundle here. So 700 rounds total in here. 700 rounds actually goes by pretty quick when you're um, doing mag dumps and having fun out at the range. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. If you got any questions, let me know. It's a pretty self-explanatory and straightforward video. If you did not open up one of these spam cans, well, hopefully that educated you on how to do it. Um, they're again, they're, everybody's, everybody's got a different way to open these. A lot of people like me just don't care. And we just use this. Cause again, we're not opening a billion of them every day. So this isn't bad. It took what, maybe five minutes from start to finish to get that crate uh, opened and then get this thing opened up. And then now we've got ammo that we can throw into magazines. So looks good. Can't wait to test it out at the range. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's brand new. Uh, I don't know when it was made, but the last couple of years. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll definitely wrap the video up this time. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that for more videos that are kind of on topic of like firearms, 
history, military history, stuff like that. Um, also, if you want to support my work, the best way to do that, there's two ways now, is the link to my Patreon is in the description. And you can also become a member of the channel, which YouTube didn't allow me to do for several years, and now it is. So yeah, you can also do that by clicking join at the bottom of the, uh, or below this video. And your support just helps me uh, be able to offset costs of like ammunition, firearms, historical artifacts to make videos on, uh, ballistic tests like for helmets and body armor. Those all cost money and I can only afford to fund that to a certain point out of pocket. Crowdfunding really helps me be able to expand and make cool videos on different topics um, and more expansive topics. So stuff like that. Uh, um, I think, yeah, Patreon starts at a dollar a month and either, either way of supporting five bucks a month or more gets into my Discord server, which is pretty cool. I have a lot of fun in there. It's a lot of cool information exchanged and a lot of funny things talked about as well. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's that, that would be really cool if you consider that. If you can't support the channel financially, I totally get that. It's totally fine. I just appreciate you watching. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You guys apparently are liking these unboxing, unpacking, un opening, uncrating, whatever videos. Um, I like doing it, so we'll keep, we'll keep doing this as long as I need to get ammo. So whatever. All right, I'm, a, I'm done rambling, I swear. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video.